Alright, baby. I probably took a little long on that level. Super Mario Maker? Is that what this one was called? Slope speed. Push down to slide down a slope. Once you jump, don't press the D-pad. Otherwise, you will lose lots of speed. Sideways springs. The sideways spring has an unethical hitbox. You can throw sprites to them in order to open your path. What? what? Just throw things at them? Is that what it is that what it's saying? An unethical hitbox? I've never heard it called that before, but I'm totally using that. Okay, I see what he wants. Throw that shell up. This is a Mario Maker level. I had to think that one through, honestly. Chat. Yeah, I totally had to think that one through for a second. I was like, does it really want me to spin jump? Am I gonna lose my spin jump if I do this? Yeah, this is very, very Mario Maker-ish. I see what's happening. What's a hitbox? Okay, so each thing in a video game has a box around it that it's actually... So, like, Mario isn't shaped like Mario. He's He just has a box from his mustache down to his... right above his feet. And that box is the area in which Mario interacts with other enemies or things like that. This is a weird section. Level, cool section so far. Okay, I did something wrong there, but I'm not exactly sure what. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I did. Never forget, I also have a widow's peak. I mean, mine's like a widow's ledge. Like a, more like a widow's ledge right there. Okay, that worked. Alright. Son of a bitch. You do all that work, and then you die on a simple muncher. Okay, that guy wasn't there the first two times. I'm just saying. Here it comes! Boom shakalaka! I appreciated that moment. I know, we we had a we had a a little despawn situation. That makes that section seem a lot more normal, honestly. Now that I see the despawn. Oh crap. Uh, Missing Link, thank you for the sub. Uh... Ooh, fuck. <laughs> Even when you've seen a Kaizo trap like a hundred thousand times before, when you don't know it's coming, it'll still get you. I've seen that specific Kaizo trap a billion times. 
Still gets me. I didn't even jump! I was walking up! Look like I jumped? I'm not jumping! You can look at my- I am not pressing the A button. I definitely did not jump there. You guys are all liars. I like this level. Uh, yeah, I think it's just because I'm climbing, like, right at the top is what it is. Uh, we already did, like, six lame, uh, six name origin stories today, so... You'll have to watch the VOD for him. Yeah, Barb, I was gonna say, the first the first half of the game was very flow. It had a lot of flow in it, and the levels were really quick. A lot of these levels have been like, wait, and wait, and... Hopefully they're just to set up, though. Hopefully they're like levels that you set up for cooler levels later, you know? Super Sky Factory. We gotta go faster. Oh yeah, this game is really good. I'm nitpicking at this point, you know what I mean? Like I think when a game when a game is like when a hack gets really good, you kind of just and then you have like what do I wanna say? Like some down levels. You know, they they maybe stand out a little bit more. Yeah. You gotta you gotta nitpick every once in a while once you're getting to a certain point. Yeah, I like this level a lot already. I need to, you know, let go of run. Can I touch that block? Oh, I can. Did I miss a P switch? Like, am I? Am did I? Hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay, I see it. That makes that makes a lot more sense. This Yoshi sprite is modified, yeah. I wouldn't say he's he's the best looking Yoshi that we've ever had. He he just he just looks different. Yeah, he looks he looks a little strange. It's definitely something you wouldn't notice unless you're looking for it, though. You know what I mean? Like, you really have to look at this Yoshi and be like, huh. You look like you're from a different game. His head's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. He's just got, I don't know. He just looks awkward. He's like Yashi. Timer? Oh, well now we're gonna, now it doesn't even matter. Yoshi's trying out a new style, you know? He's a thick Yoshi, yeah. Our 
forgot to hold jump. This hack needs more Kaizo blocks. Uh, it had one really good Kaizo block earlier, but that's the only one we've hit. But it was it was a really good Kaizo block, I gotta admit. Fifth time I forgot to jump. It's uh, Mario's fault, not mine. Mario sometimes just doesn't want to listen to the inputs I give him. Yump. I keep screwing this up. I keep holding jump for no reason. Alright, Yoshi. Let's go underneath the spikes. We go right here. Gotta hold jump right there. We gotta hold jump. Imagine failing a shell jump in 2018. Oh my god, why you do this to me? That text box owned my ass right there. That text box owned me. I'm still that text box's bitch, though. Like, there's no doubt the text box freaked me out because I was like, oh, now we have to hit it. I'm the text box's. The text box won me zero. All the way up. Ooh, I like vertical levels. I hope this is a vertical level. It's a Fangorn level. I like this music. The visuals are bright. I swear I got that one. Text box above the par, uh, the best sky tree is the original sky tree, changed my mind. Oh, Fangorn's better than the original sky tree. I disagree, Aguni. I know, this makes me want a birthday cake. The visuals here. play Candyland. Fangorn is better than the original Sky Tree because it features multiple shell climbs. The first half is extremely hard, but it's just to get you ready for the second half. It's visually pleasing and it has comical Kaizo blocks. Okay, that's actually pretty tough. That's like a tough little section right there. Shit. That's the end right there. Yeah, that is... That is all about timing and how you time yourself with the baseballs. We gotta make sure we're not getting any balls to the face, but we're still climb in the vine. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped right there. Yay! Alright, we avoided all the balls of the face. No more balls.
Spin jump. I really liked every level except the last. The last two I thought were pretty, like, stop and go. A little boring. Like, I don't want to say I dislike them, but they were just my least favorite so far. Oh, wait, I. Oh, a death block. I don't like the death blocks that you just walk into. I feel like there's got to be a row of them. Like, that would be a more appropriate time for a muncher, you know? Well, that didn't count. That's fair. Great job. That was awesome. Good job by me. Good job by me. That was that was great. I just got tea bagged on the face. I guess it's the only place tea bags happen, but. Teabag death is definitely a degrading, a degrading way to die. I, I re-grabbed, re-grabbed the vine, not my jump button. Hey, look at me. Look at me dodging shit. Shoutouts to Eldad. Is that a bingo? Um, you need an after goalpost death, I think, a goonie, and then you would have the full bingo. I don't know, man. I feel like every D pad blows. The NES, the SNES D pad is significantly better than the. Wii U gamepad D-pad. The Wii U D-pad is crap, and the Wii U Pro Controller D-pad's even worse. Okay, the aesthetics on this level are hot fucking sex. Like, right off the bat, the aesthetics and music in this level are fucking dope. Banger track alert, ladies and gentlemen. We have a banger track alert. Well, I think that's what, that just shows you like how bad D-pads are. Uh, yeah, and I can't, I can't decide, like I can't decide if that's my fat fingers sometimes and the D-pad's just not big enough for them or if it's just shitty rubbers. You dude. You should have seen, we went through six controllers trying to find one for um, Thumb Shredder. No. Seeing other streamers in a streamer's chat feels like a crossover. Well, we have celebrity chat here. You know, we have the, the celebrity chat going on. Uh, we have the VIP room in the back. We've got Barb's karaoke machine riding high right now. to the end. No, it's just the definitive edition. You don't get a 1.0 or 1.1. It's definitive. 
There's no need for anything else. This is the definitive edition. Yeah, that music was dope. I gotta admit, that music was really dope. I'm dead. I probably should have jumped on the fish first. Definitive. I gotta give props to Aguni for this, though. Like, I think a lot of people would have just, like, moved on or, or done something. Instead of that, like, he went back and he made a hack that, damn it, people would want to play. And it's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, I'm excited for Ryu World 2. I heard Ryu World 2 has a bit more uh, challenge to it. But, like, if it's kind of in this vein of level design... Beast talks so highly of Ryu World, Ryu World 2, so I'm, I'm excited. I screwed up. That was embarrassing. I can... What do I want to do there? I don't know what was the definitive thing that made him want to redo it. This is cool. Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot for that. Uh, this had, this is, whoa, how did I die on that one? This is an awkward boss fight. I, I would say yes, this is awkward. Might be the best way to describe this. I think that's it. I think this is really great. Like, this is a super great intro hack. I strongly suggest this hack to a lot of people. I think I think the other thing about, like, maybe this is an intro hack is, compared to, like, Quickie World, is it does introduce you to a few new concepts that you'll see in later hacks. You know what I mean? If you do other hacks. Inspiration, Kaizo Mario World 3. Nobody should take inspiration from Kaizo Mario World 3. That game fucking sucks. Unless you're making a boss fight. Yo, shout out to BK and... Yo, Horizon Dead, I'm seeing his name pop up everywhere on these hacks for testing. So shout out to that man. Ladies Man 217. That's a, that's a screen name right there. Oh yeah, I said it. Takamato's the god. He's the godfather, but... Meh. His games are meh. <laughs> HK and Andrew. Actually, his games aren't meh. It's just like, now the games are so good that like you go back and look at them, you're like... At the time, they were like ungodly amazing. Yeah. Thanks for playing. Yo, thanks for making it, Aguni. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Aguni. Shout out to Ryu Car. My lover. You know, you know where that finger goes.
Thank you.